some more wood burning today and somebody asked why is this wood burner so much harder to use than it looks well the problem is that people look at it and they think oh it's just a hot pen i can just take it and draw with it like i would a pen and that's not true at all it's not a pen at all in fact it's totally different you would think you would use this tip right here to draw with and you'd think you know you could just hold it like a pen and draw the first problem is this tip is not where most of the heat is most of the heat is down at this obtuse tip this part right here and so this is where more of the heat is so this is what you want to use as your power to really get the nice groove the nice triangle shaped groove in there and so what you want to do is see this little diagram here you want to sink it into the wood and you have to be careful because the other problem is the heat doesn't ebb and flow evenly when you bite into some wood the heat will rush out and then if you burn too quickly this will run out of heat and then it'll your line will get dimmer and dimmer you got to pause let it fill up with heat for a few more seconds and then go some more and so you, there's also pressure involved um, when you're going on different wood has grain and you might jump over different parts of grain and it might give you an etched look or it might just get stuck and if it gets stuck and you keep pushing then you'll get a really deep burn mark you'll start just plowing burning right into the wood so it takes a lot of practice I've been doing this for over 10 years hundreds of hours and think of it as fun don't think of it as tedious just get a lot of wood to practice with I'm going to show you how in different different types of wood it burns differently harder woods it'll burn very slow uh, lighter woods it'll burn faster leather burns almost as fast as when you're drawing so that's nice but wood a lot of these videos I speed up so people think oh he's burning that it looks super easy but it's going two three five times as fast as how I'm really doing it so you know give yourself patience and learn your tool get a feel for it let it become an extension of your arm just like when you learn to draw and really learn how the heat comes out learn when to push hard when to not push hard and it's also hard if you're using this tip and you're sinking it in like this you can't always get the right angles you want the angle is very difficult you have to hold it a certain way and then as you're burning you have to turn the wood because it's harder to turn your whole hand when you're at that strange angle than it is when you're with a pen where you can just move your hand all different ways so sometimes you gotta go like this and then you turn the wood go some more turn the wood sometimes I don't move it along I just press it and I press it at different angles sometimes I'll press it right here and then I'll roll it so it's touching and by the way I'm touching with my finger because it's not turned on right now otherwise I'd have some nice burn tattoo marks but sometimes I'll t touch it like this to the wood and then roll it down like that sometimes I'll just poke it with the tip sometimes I'll use the flat edge to give it like a shaded look sometimes I'll roll even this part gets hot so sometimes I'll roll this part all these different tricks you'll see in the video so I wanted to really explain it for you guys here um, so this is a little more drawn out you know but now let's get to some fun earrings I got some more of these really inexpensive pieces of wood 130 pieces it was like five bucks this time I got squares and rectangles super fun make some fun earrings remember you can it's so cheap you can make so many cool things just get yourself a little bit of paint these, these paints were like 50 cents 79 cents super awesome Remember to use safety. Remember this is hot, as hot as a lit cigarette and it takes about 5-10 minutes to heat up. So yours should come with a little cute little stand to put it on, but even the stand slides around. So after I get my stand put it on there, I'll make sure that I put a couple screws down to affix this to the table or to at least to a big hunk of wood. And I make sure that my cord is not in a place where I can trip over it or bump it with my arm or something because you know just grab this suddenly have it fall in your lap catch it with your hand it's not gonna be fun the cool thing is as I said on other videos this thing is like this one was 16 you can get them for like 12 10 probably online different discount stores there's higher-end ones that go like 100 200 but you know all the stuff you see me do is just with this and I think the first one I ever bought was 12 bucks and that one lasted me for years so 
I only use the chisel tips. They come with all these different tips for like, you know, different effects. I find the chisel tip really is the strongest and the most versatile and it does everything. Uh, if you use it long enough, this thing will start to unscrew at some point and it'll get loose and you'll feel it wobbling. I just take a pair of pliers, grab it real tight and turn it back. Obviously don't grab it with your fingers. If you are gonna grab it with your fingers, make sure it's totally turned off and off for like 10 minutes. But your fingers are probably not strong enough to give it that extra tight. So let's begin.